Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a part two of my campus rep little series that I had. So in the last video, I just talked about um, my experience as a campus rep and how I got involved in the campus rep program. So for this part, I just wanted to go ahead and share some tips on becoming a campus rep. So if you are applying, I'm going to offer you some of my biggest tips that I think are important when applying. So it is currently January 27th and applications close on the 31st. So if you're still like undecided if you want to apply for a campus rep, um, and you see this video this is your sign to apply because I just think that this program is amazing and it gives you so much like you get so much out of it and you get a lot of experience and not only that but like it just changes you as a person and I feel like it has made me grow into like a better woman and just made me feel more confident in myself and who I am and what I do so yeah, if you are still debating, I say go for it and apply. And if you want to see like the tips that I have to offer, then go ahead and keep on watching this video. Okay, so in my last video, I kind of talked about like a little bit about the application process. Um, I'm going to go over it again just so like y'all know a little bit of like what it is. And if you're interested in knowing more about it, I will explain it right here. So the application process, I'm pretty sure that it's the same as how it was last year, but I'm not too sure because I can't reapply. I'm graduating, so I will not be eligible to be a campus rep again. So um, I didn't apply, but um it's fairly easy and um, so yeah anyways the first things that they ask you on the campus rep application are um, like just personal information what school you go to um, your email address are you involved on campus and that's something that's really big so they really do look at applicants who are involved on campus and people who can like reach out more like to the student body to like share like different initiatives that pink may be doing so this is really important to be involved so if you are involved they will ask you that on that portion and then another portion that they um added last year was the creative portion and um that's where we were able to create our mood board and i will insert it right here um for this one i was really excited to be able to create the mood board because um it was just different and i felt like it was a really good way to for them to see like um, my creativity and this is a part where like i feel like i really shined because um i am a little bit more creative and i love to find ways to be more creative um so this was really fun to do and I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, so much fun that we actually incorporated it into our campus team applications for UTSA. So um, yeah, it's just fun to see like everyone's different like creativity and like how they view things and how they view themselves and what they do. It really shows a lot about you. So I'm pretty sure that's why they added into the application process. Um, it was really cool to see and really fun to do. So that was um, the next part of the application process. And then the final part of the application process was um, whether or not you get an interview. And with this one in the interview, they just really want to like get to know you on a one-on-one -on -one, um, basis. And they just want to talk to you and see like how you are as a person, if you're outgoing, bubbly. They really just want to see like your personality. Um, not everyone has to be the same, of course. Like everyone's different. Everyone always brings different things to the table. Um, so yeah, like the interview process, they really just want to see who you are and if like you match what VS Pink is looking for. So yeah, that's pretty much the application process. Okay, so now I'm just going to be talking about how you can stand out in your application. So the first thing that I want to say is definitely have knowledge on the brand. Know what VS Pink stands for. Don't just think like, oh, it's cute, it's sexy, like... No, actually have like a deeper understanding of what VS Pink stands for and know what initiatives they take part in and who they are partnering with and why. Like have an understanding why they are partnering with them and really like have an appreciation for that. Um, I love that they partner with the Jed Foundation because it was all about mental health and giving mental health tips to everyone and especially college students. Like being alone like in a pandemic like some of us are alone in the pandemic um, I'm fortunate enough to live at home but I know that many people are not fortunate enough to do that and they do have to stay on campus um, so I feel like these mental health tips that they offered and that all of the different initiatives that they do it was really helpful to many students everywhere so just have a little bit of knowledge on like what pink stands for and just the different things that they do because this is going to help you a lot and it's definitely going to make you shine in your application 
Okay, and this next tip that I'm going to offer, I feel like this is a huge one. Um, it helps out so much. I can say this because of previous experience. So if your school has a current um, campus rep program, I would say apply to be on their campus team because it is definitely going to show you the ropes and let you build a relationship with the current campus reps. You're going to learn a lot about what they do and you can ask them questions. And you're not only limited to just um, your school's campus reps. If you know or see any other campus reps from other schools, follow them and message them like i've had other girls from different schools message me on my personal instagram account and ask me about the program and how i got involved or what tips do i recommend for them and um this is something that i recommended to them i was like you know like get on your campus team if they have one it definitely gives you more of an insight of what not only like what campus reps do but also like you can see what is currently going on with vs pink because campus reps are like constantly updated on what pink is doing who they're partnering with just all of their collaborations what they're putting out like what they're selling what's new um so it is really like beneficial to you if you are on the campus team you learn the ropes and you learn more about the brand you definitely grow an appreciation for it so i was on the team for two semesters before i became a campus rep and i definitely think that it groomed me to become um a better campus rep and it helped me a lot um so yeah, definitely join the campus team if your school has one. And if not, you can just always just find campus reps that you can reach out to. Um, let them know that you're applying because they can always recommend you if you grow a relationship with them. Like keep up with them, um, talk to them, and just always reach out with questions because you never know. They could always recommend you. The next tip that I have to offer is for you to just be yourself. Like pink literally accepts you as you are you do not have to have a number of followers on instagram on youtube like i literally only have what like 800 subscribers on youtube um and i still got a chance i don't have a bunch of followers on instagram either or on twitter i have like 2,000 followers on instagram and i was still able to become a campus rep and before that i had like before i became a campus rep i didn't even have 2,000 followers i was probably like at a thousand and um i was still selected for it so you should not let numbers affect you but I would definitely recommend that you go out there and you be yourself show them who you are and just show that you really have a passion for pink and that you really love what they stand for what they do just really be yourself and show that because I mean everyone's different everyone brings different things to the table like Okay, so the next tip that I have to offer is just to be passionate about VS Pink and be passionate about what you do. You can always combine the two. So let's say that you love making YouTube videos. Like, for instance, I do. That's like one of my passions. Um, I was able to create YouTube videos for VS Pink because I told them like, oh yeah, I do YouTube videos. So they were able to use me in that aspect. So whatever you're like comfortable with and whatever you do, let's say you make graphic designs, they will utilize you in that. Like I've seen campus reps be able to um, make stickers for VS Pink, uh, make phone wallets for VS Pink. So that is really cool. They will find a way to use whatever you're um, good at, whatever you're creative with, they will find a way to use that. So yeah, be passionate about the brand. Definitely know what they stand for, have a knowledge on it, and be passionate about what you do. Be Show them that you're dedicated because the more you put into the program, the more you are going to get out of it. Um, just show them who you are, what you love to do, because these things are going to make you stand out on your application. I guarantee you that. And the last tip that I have to offer is follow your school's um, campus rep social media pages if your school has that um, or follow just any like school's um, social media pages because um, you will see like when applications are live when they're not live you will get a lot of insight as to what reps do like the different tips and tricks that they have to offer I know that um, we made a graphic I will insert it right here um, to show like the difference between campus reps and campus team members just so you know like the difference between when you are applying for campus team and campus reps but yeah, I would definitely recommend to follow um, any schools, um, not just your own school, but you can also follow like different schools um, campus rep uh, page. So like for us, it's UTSA Pink. If you want to follow us, but you go to a different school, um, I would definitely recommend following because we are constantly posting things about applications or just different things that we're doing. So yeah, that is a very big tip is just to follow along so you are up to date on everything that Pink is doing because they are basically just spreading brand awareness on campus and letting you know more about 
VS Pink and what they're doing. But that's everything that I have for this video. I really hope that you found it helpful and that you're able to utilize any of these tips and tricks in any part of the application process. Um, definitely follow like all of the social media pages, any schools. Um, ours is UTSA, UTSA Pink, like I said. Um, we are constantly posting. Um, yeah just stay up to date with current campus reps just follow anyone who is a campus rep because most of the times we are willing to give you tips and tricks um like if you message us like i know whenever someone messages me asking me about campus rep program i am willing to like let them know the insights and just let them know everything that i know um because i definitely want to share my knowledge i do not i'm not the type of person who will like withhold any information i really want to see everyone grow so if you are applying i really hope that you get it and yeah i will be really happy to see who become the reps for the next school year it is definitely an exciting thing and i can't wait to see but that's it for today i really hope you enjoyed this video i will see y'all in my next video bye everyone